test uh, boutique, uh, any new technology uh, that can reduce cost. Uh, complementary technologies uh, that also support uh, more or less like uh, telephone and external device of the, the phone. We call it uh, complement uh, product. And next, incentive for use, reduce cost or eliminate externalities. Uh, all technologies re-approaching technical performance limits, uh, line or cable phone, such as line and cable phone. I did mention uh, on Monday that uh, when I was in Finland uh, in year 2000, uh, uh, almost uh, in, in in their country, they don't use uh, line phone anymore. Even at the airport, uh, you have to use a, a mobile phone. They do not use. Uh, they do not provide the service of on a line phone. Uh, prestige application or lead users. I did mention about. Uh, selling ship, uh, which is uh, to uh, yeah it became uh, obsolete because the change of of technology, the engine um, engine boat or engine ship, and then uh, but they keep on producing uh, selling ship but for different application or lead users uh, for sports and also <clears throat> uh, luxury. And selling ship business still considered as a luxury or prestige good because the, the, it, uh, the, the selling ship, uh, the price of selling ship very expensive, more than four million sharing it for a unit of uh, selling ship yeah. uh, to show off that it's uh, a luxury or different business application okay uh, this is what i'm going to uh, talk today about uh, how to scan environment how to get the information how to gather the information okay uh, the first main via licensing, uh, you get the license, then you have the details of the technology. Yeah. Uh, so first get the license and you will understand the detail. Uh, you can study, you can explore the detail of the technology. This is what has been done, for example, by Canon, when they acquire Technology developed by student, group of students, actually, for example, the, the ink technology. Previously, uh, the early technology for printing, uh, we have uh, dot metric technology, more or less like a typewriter. Uh, the, the technology or the, the, the system in, inside this um, uh, dot metric printer uh, use more or less like typewriter. And uh, it uh, have uh, dots. Yeah? So this dot will punch on the, pep, on the uh, ribbon as you can see in typewriter, they have ribbon in, 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 in uh, that, that uh, typewriter. So uh, the command from the computer will go to uh, the printer and the printer uh, will command uh, a figure or a number or alphabet. For example, A. This A uh, actually uh, constitute of uh, many dots and this dot punch on a ribbon and this ribbon will have uh, the color on the paper. So that we call a dot metric. However, it's not as quality as 
laser jet printer. Uh, at that time also, they have laser jet printer. But the cost per unit of uh, printing is considered expen expensive at that time due to the price of uh, the carbon. Uh, the carbon uh, to print on the paper considered as expensive at that time. So a group of uh, students come up with uh, intermediate quality, uh, better quality than uh, dot metric. Previously, teacher many teacher use dot metric because they they can punch on stencil more or less like like uh, using using uh, typewriter so dot metric can punch on uh, stencil and then you can cyclo style cyclo style is a machine to reprint uh, based on the uh, stencil and then you can uh, the ink uh, spread on that cyclo style and then uh, you can print on a paper yeah uh, so many paper can can be printed using this cyclo style uh, machine okay uh, so a group of students come up with uh, inject technology and, and intermediate quality it's uh, not as good as um, laser jet uh, by canon but it's uh, yeah better than uh, dot metric yeah and then um, uh, Canon buy off the license uh, from this group. Uh, we call it uh, as a type of, of license. Yeah? Uh, they can upgrade the technology and then they apply in uh, their printer. So that's that, the history of uh, inject technology. And then um, you can also refill uh, the ink into inject uh, cartridge or buy a new cartridge. And then they also have uh, color inject technology. Yeah. Okay. That's an example of licensing the, the technology. And uh, learning details from information provided in pattern disclosure. Okay. In your uh, group assignment, part two, you have to do this exercise. You have to go to US Patent Trade Office uh, web page and you, you have to search. I'll guide you after this. Uh, you have to go to US Patent Trade Office um, uh, so you can explore more information in the pattern disclosure. For example, if you want to include uh, uh, input device such as uh, pen computing, uh, so you can type pen compu computing. And then uh, there is also in, in the US Patent Trade Office uh, advanced search. You, if you want to explore more about the technology, you can learn from pattern disclosure uh, such as in uh, U.S. Patent Trade Office and a few other more website. Yeah, I will uh, explain to you later. Next, learning details through publication or open technical meetings, yeah, uh, such as uh, journal, uh, engineering journal, I Triple E. They always uh, have information about technical knowledge, about technology, a new way or we call it uh, know-how, how to do this and how to do that in technical uh, publication and also technical meetings. So by attendings, uh, conference, for example, or technical meetings, presentation, so you learn new things, yeah? uh, new something new in the market or something has been discovered. Okay. Next, uh, Learning detail through informal conversation with employees of the innovating firms, competitors, buyers, suppliers, consultancy firm, university, and etc. Yeah. 
you can get feedback from the buyers. Yeah, normally the users know what the weaknesses of a product. Yeah, for example, when they start using it, they know the weaknesses and also a good story of of a product. Yeah, many people uh, learning or knowing about a product via uh, the spread of information and uh, learning by using, we call it. Yeah. Uh, learning by using. We can, we, for example, somebody search uh, to buy a laptop. So maybe he will ask or get advice from somebody else, from his friends, for example, or colleagues, which one is uh, the best to buy value for the money, for example. Yeah, uh, Huawei, HP, or whatever laptop branding. Because uh, each of these laptop, they have a different spec and different uh, specialization, or this, uh, they they have uh, different advantages. Uh, so uh, those who already acquire have that uh, units, they can share the information. So uh, you can also uh, get the information from the buyers, uh, yeah, such as uh, the improvement improvement in battery technology yeah, due to complaints by the user. Uh, because many users, they dissatisfy with, with the multitasking or multifunction of the smartphone. However, uh, due to uh, multi multi or multiple use uh, so uh, the battery uh, can easily uh, uh, the power of the battery easily uh, finish so uh, they need more powerful and also longer lasting and also a short shorter time in terms of charging uh, so the battery company they come up with a better battery technology based on we call it customer needs or market needs how do they get this information you have to scan so based on the scanning or monitoring what's happened uh, to the current situation so they come up with a better one okay also uh, the history of uh, change yeah, from uh, Natrium cadmium battery to lithium cadmium battery. Yeah. Previously, they use natrium cadmium battery and then they change into lithium cadmium battery. And at one time, Samsung come out with a powerful battery. Yeah. Uh, however, it's a dangerous battery. And also, you cannot bring along when you want to fly to another place because it's uh, prohibited to bring that uh, Samsung uh, terminal. I do not remember the, what what's, uh, Samsung product, a smartphone, but you can, they always put the sticker uh, at the airport, you cannot bring on the plane. Why? Because it's not stable and it can easily explode and it's very dangerous when you fly on the plane. So they stopped producing that uh, battery for that Samsung. Uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the smartphone and also uh, used in, in uh, palm top. Okay, next, hiring R&D employees with experience from competing firms. This is also happened in, 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 in history. Yeah. Many successful American company, yeah, they uh, not only transfer, but some cases they kidnap yeah. uh, engineers from a uh, German engineers. Yeah. Uh, after uh, Second World War, yeah, many uh, during the uh, Second World War, many uh, German uh, engineers they work in uh, many uh, 
research program yeah, established by Hitler, yeah, such as uh, the making of flying bomb yeah, after the case of uh, yeah, uh, London bombing. Yeah, Hitler has sent a few jet fighters uh, to attack London. However, uh, uh, their, their uh, jet fighters has been counter attack. Yeah, before they arrive London, a few uh, managed to arrive London and to bomb some places in in London. However, many jet fighters has been uh, sacrificed for that uh, uh, London bombing uh, planned by Hitler. Is considered as unsuc unsuccessful uh, uh, planned by Hitler due to intelligence because uh, uh, British intelligence already get the information. This is also scanning or monitoring because British have a smart intelligence, British and also American, they have intelligence uh, to get the secrets of what's happened in the counter uh, like uh, during the the uh, war with Nazi, they got information from from uh, count count their enemy, uh, so they get prepared before launching. Uh, Hitler launch uh, the uh, jet fighter. Uh, they already uh, get ready, and then uh, they counter attack of that uh, jet fighter, and uh, many have uh, been sacrificed. Uh, of jet fighter, of, of Nazi jet fighter. So, um, Hitler came up with uh, the idea of not sending jet fighter anymore, but he want to uh, send flying bomb. And from France, he, he want to send bomb that can fly and hit London. And that is plan. And uh, based on that idea, they keep on improving. Now we have missiles, starting from uh, Nazis flying bomb, yeah? missiles, uh, maneuver. Uh, so nowadays, and some of this uh, engineer has been transferred from uh, Nazis uh, flying bomb project, yeah? including those who work in uh, NASA for the Apollo 1. Yeah? Uh, uh, most engineers who work for, for building the first uh, uh, space shuttle, Apollo to the moon, was built by uh, German engineers. Yeah? Some of them, they were kidnapped, actually, yeah? by intelligence and they were forced to work uh, in American company after the World War. <clears throat> okay, hiring R&D employees, yeah? uh, that's uh, experience or history of some uh, from the previous uh, history. So at one time, yeah, uh, German was at the top and then uh, American yeah, uh, have this strategy. Yeah, offering a better salary, a better living to the uh, German engineer. So they moved to uh, US and work in American company. Uh, acquiring the product and reverse engineering it. Uh, this is what has been blamed to Japanese strategy. Because at one time, uh, American, as I told you just now, American was at the top. And then Japanese start copying uh, American technology. Yeah. Uh, and so many goods they were copying. For example, Xerox machine. Xerox was American uh, photocopying machine. At one time, it's dominate Malaysia market. Most of the government sector uh, use that zero machine for photocopying. Tills it's uh, more or less a synonym. When somebody want to photocopying, they say 
please kindly Xerox this. Why? Because the name of that machine, uh, the, the brand name of that machine was Xerox. Yeah. But uh, after some time, yeah, Canon buy that machine and then we call it reverse engineering. They uh, open it, take it uh, piece by piece out and then they reassemble. Yeah. And then they come out with a better machine of printing machine. Yeah, that's also the history of, of uh, Canon printing uh, machine. You can read on, on the Google uh the story of printing and now they yeah, keep on upgrading uh the or improving the the photocopier become uh, you can also scan uh, you can uh, now you can also use bluetooth you can send directly from your phone uh to the photocopier uh, without having cables yeah. so lots of uh, improvement have been made from time to time of that photocopying machine and many other products. And they, at one time, Japanese become at the top. So American blame uh, that Japanese uh, copying their technology. Yeah. Uh, another simple example like uh, spark plug. Yeah. Uh, when I was young, I used a motorbike and uh, uh, at that time, uh, one of the top uh, spark plug for motorbike named Champion. Uh, if, uh, you can acquire, you can buy at that time. If you buy and use a, a Champion spark plug, meaning that you use a quality American spark plug, yeah, Champion. But what happened now? Uh, it's no more in the market because it replaced by NGK at one time. NGK uh, was a Japanese company. Yeah. Everything's the same except the brand name. Uh, but what's happening now, uh, it's quite difficult to get NGK. What we have now, Denso, yeah? uh, Korean spark plug. So that's a competition between uh, uh, country yeah, from American uh, spark plug to Japanese spark plug and then uh, Korean spark plug. Okay. Uh, acquiring product and reverse engineering. This is uh, how, how people get the information of a technology. Next, we go to uh, types of monitoring. There are two types of monitoring. Uh, the first one. Uh, the first one, we call it um, technological monitoring. What is meant by technological monitoring? The focus is to monitor technological change. The aspect of the study or information uh, gathered is about technological change. And another types of uh, monitoring, contextual monitoring. Yeah. Uh, the environment surrounded this technological um, monitoring, or some call PEST. Yeah, P E S T, a political, economics, social, and technological aspect as well. Yeah, yes. uh, so, uh, contextual monitoring, uh, the focus more on uh, change or changes or development in other technological technologies and also social socio economic environment. Yeah, the environment itself. Uh, the impact or effect of change environment in politics. You know, uh, for example, we are having COVID-19 uh, since last year, yeah? uh, starting uh, March last year and now 
so many change and we can see one of the the uh, effect or the impact such as uh, uh, what, we, what we call it uh, um, food delivery by motorcycles yeah uh, food panda uh, even grabs foods yeah? and many other delivery using motorcycle it's a, a, a job opportunity actually uh, to the youngsters who have moto motorcycle so they they start uh, uh, involved in this uh, supplying or uh, uh, distributing uh, not only food some other material as well uh, and also uh, the usage of of uh, parcels uh, uh, we can see in our just within one year uh, people use uh, online business yeah so and this online business they use distribution via uh, a service uh, delivery service or parcel delivery service yeah, such as uh, we can see many uh, even sometimes uh, just ordinary or daily um, uh, grocery foods, grocery or foods. And some people they buy online. Yeah, uh, soya sauce, ketchup, baggy. Uh, sometimes it's much cheaper. Yeah, you you can buy uh, from online business. Yeah, Lazada, uh, Mudah.com or whatever uh, service available. Go business or something, yeah. Many business uh, online, and uh, sometimes this uh, online business they have a cheaper price compared. If you go, you have to spend some time to 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 go to the shopping complex, and also uh, it's not safe due to COVID nineteen, and uh, you have to spare some time, yeah. However, you just place the order and then they will deliver directly to your house. Yeah. Uh, so uh, changes or development in logistic, for example, in online business also have uh, impacts or effects yeah, to the uh, environment or the business. Yeah, online business. This we call contextual monitoring. Uh, we ha we have to monitor what's happened in uh, the society. Uh, okay. Specific purpose and possible objective of monitoring. Uh, when you want to acquire information to get uh, to gather information, uh, among other specific purpose or possible objective. The first one, detecting scientific or technical or social economic events important to the company. So what related to the company, you have to, to follow up, to monitor the progress, to see uh, events yeah, related to the company because it can affect yeah, to your business, to your product. Uh, uh, for example, um, uh, during uh, now in a few states still PKPB. Before this PKP, meaning that uh, uh, all the restaurant uh, they can operate, but they cannot uh, have the restaurant service. Uh, customer can only uh, come and purchase whatever food they want to get from that uh, restaurant. But can, they cannot, restaurant meaning that you, you, you stay there and eat. So during the PKP time, uh, all the table, the chair uh, were not allowed. Uh, so you, uh, people cannot, or customer cannot eat uh, in the restaurant. Uh, so this, uh, something uh, have direct effect to the business of the company. 
the restaurant company. For example, Kedai Mama. You know, uh, which, which was previously open 24 hours. So their business not smooth, not run very well. Nowadays, okay, it's a PKPB in Johor. So they can open, uh, people can come and uh, can eat uh, at their restaurant. Uh, that's uh, social economics events. Uh, scientific and technical change also uh, related to the company. Yeah. Uh, for example, what happening uh, to Nokia and uh, BlackBerry? Yeah, uh, because they they became uh, obsolete after uh, Samsung introduced uh, new functions in their smartphone. At one time, uh, Nokia uh, dominate not only Malaysia market, the world market. And also BlackBerry uh, for a few years become uh, the famous uh, smartphone due to uh, texting. Uh, for those who like uh, texting, uh, you want to send text to your colleagues or your friends much faster using BlackBerry because the interface, uh, bigger interface compared to Nokia, yeah, but then slowly uh, Samsung uh, catch the market. Maybe at the beginning penetrate the we call it niche market, and then uh, they expand the market. Yeah, according to to the one one uh, idea of of how uh, Samsung, yeah. Uh, managed to to capture the market of of smartphone. Yeah, the first uh, stage they start with changing the color of the uh, mobile phone. Yeah, previously, we can see uh, most or all mobile phone uh, were in black or gray color, including BlackBerry. Yeah, either black or gray color, and then they come uh, with blue later after Samsung start change the color yeah uh, they managed to catch uh, the woman uh, segments market yeah because uh, according to the social economic change uh, at that time uh, many women have the purchasing power not only men, of course men at that time, they will prefer to have uh, black or gray color telephone. However, uh, many women, they prefer, uh, they have the purchasing power. Yeah? Even now, uh, many women have better purchasing power. And that's why we can see also in cosmetic, yeah, cosmetic business, uh, many uh, Entrepreneur in cosmetic uh, turn into become uh, millionaire. Yeah, in Malaysia, we can see many millionaire. Uh, uh, they make money from uh, cosmetic business because, uh, of course, in in cosmetic uh, business, the the main user or the lead user of of this uh, cosmetic business. Are women, uh, woman sector or woman segment, and uh, for smartphone, yeah, uh, Samsung know that uh, women have the purchasing power, so they come up with a special color for women. Yeah, so they start producing a pink color, uh, orange, red, uh, and green, yellow as well. At one time, uh, so. Yeah, it's rare, rare for the men to, to buy pink or red or orange color of phone, but uh, many women, just the cover of, of the phone, uh, the, mo the model of the phone uh, is the same. 
yeah, inside but the cover they change into that that's how according to one one uh, uh, idea or one theory said that uh, samsung penetrate the market by changing the color <clears throat> and then uh, yeah they got business yeah in that market in that woman category or women uh, segment of uh, smartphone and uh, they keep on improving, make uh, more applications specialized for women. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so detecting scientific or technical change and events, uh, which is important. And the failure of, of Nokia and, and, uh, and Blackberry due to uh, no improvement in terms of the input device because at that time Samsung uh, already uh, smartphone already use uh, pen computing. Yeah, Samsung is one of the early uh, smartphone or uh, we call it a tablet as well using pen computing technology, touch screen, uh, voice recognition. Uh, whereas at the at the same time, uh, Nokia and also uh, BlackBerry they keep on continuing on texting. They they expect that texting will will uh, continue maybe another one decades. So just a few, just a short term out of the market okay uh, defining potential threats implied by those events uh, this is another objective uh, so what's happened in the uh, market we have to monitor we have to uh, scan to get the information uh, the development the emerging technologies and uh, what threats uh, to our product or our markets uh, seeking opportunities implied by the change by changes in the environment a new emerging material product or process as i i, I told you just now about uh, input device yeah? uh, voice recognition uh, input device uh, touch screen uh, input device uh, uh, pen computing input device. So for those who uh, do not alert, yeah, who, who do not uh, change with uh, the changes of the environment, so they easily uh, became obsolete. Why? Because of uh, the new technology outcompete the old one and uh, no more market for uh, no more place for new uh, the old one, uh, and also uh, nowadays, for example, when we want to buy uh, laptop, yeah, uh, it's a very quick change of of the processor, yeah, uh, from uh, uh, Pentium uh, i5 to uh, uh, sorry Pentium 5i to 7i. Yeah? And if you just buy uh, 5i, and then just a sudden, uh, all the program, software, and so on, uh, develop purposely for a 7i processor. And some of them, not uh, com compatible anymore. They require more uh, uh, high power or high processor. Uh, meaning that uh, uh, in terms of speed, it's much uh, faster to have a 7i processor instead of 5i processor. Yeah. Uh, and of course, the older, yeah, uh, the octa core, the quad core, or dual core, maybe it's uh, relevant at uh, their times, but not relevant anymore now. Yeah, even to capture uh, uh, 
a quality picture now. It's require a better um, processor. Uh, even the what you call it the uh, <clears throat> uh, online uh, chat or online like this one. Yeah, uh, we, we are having uh, Webex. Yeah, uh, for the Webex. Uh, we're back puts the the one of the requirement uh, of of the yeah you, if you are using laptop or using PC at least five i processor yeah otherwise it's uh, slow yeah and and uh, for example when showing video uh, uh, also uh, when you use the Skype you use this um, uh, Facebook uh, chatting, uh, you need a more powerful uh, processor. So, uh, alert, uh, you have to alert the trends uh, that are converging or diverging, uh, speeding up, slowing down, or interacting, uh, and have the relation with your business. So, this you can specify in your purpose or objective in uh, of the monitoring or of the scanning environment. Next, identifying competing or supporting relationship. Any competing or uh, supporting. Yeah. Uh, previously, only uh, uh, one company producing processor uh, which was uh, Pentium, and then uh, AMD come out with processor as well. Uh, so uh, now they are competing yeah, between AMD uh, and also uh, Pentium. Yeah. For example, uh, when uh, Pentium come out with uh, 5i or 7i, AMD also uh, come out with uh, their uh, what we call it, equivalence uh, of the processing uh, processor. Uh, flagging critical needs. Uh, so uh, you should can you uh, among other uh, aspect to monitor is the critical needs by the user or the customer. Yeah. Uh, ascertaining potential breakthrough. You can uh, also expect uh, what's going to happen in near future. Uh, as now, if for example, uh, we know that uh, many business uh, run online. Yeah. Uh, so uh, you should get prepared or at least know yeah, uh, sales and marketing online and so on. And their effects, yeah, potential of breakthrough and their effects. Okay, uh, choices of monitoring. Yeah. Uh, one of uh, uh, disadvantages of these uh, techniques, monitoring or scanning environment, because uh, uh, in the environment, uh, there are big data. Yeah. So many or so much information yeah, available online or on technical uh, journals, uh, compendium, uh, or in conference. Nowadays, uh, it's like uh, an, an em emerging situation yeah? uh, after these uh, 40 decades, yeah? uh, after, yeah, especially after the millennium. Yeah, uh, the year of 2000, and uh, it's, uh, it's like a trend that uh, uh, we call it information flux. Uh, so many or too much information. So what you need to do, uh, you have to filter. Uh, otherwise, uh, some of this information become the jargon. Jargon or sometimes we call it uh, waste. Not so much important information, but you collect all everything 
uh, in the monitoring or scanning environment. So uh, you have to specify uh, how to filter or to process your data, your information, what to collect and how to, to filter. Okay, here the choices of monitoring. The first one, time frame. Yeah. Uh, how long the duration or the time frame? Yeah, pre implementation versus imminent decision versus post decision. Uh, that's one aspect you have to decide. Based on the objective that we, we, we put here, yeah, this is among the objective. So uh, you can specify the time frame, how long, from what year. For example, if you want to scan uh, to browse information from a pattern, uh, as I told you just now about uh, US pattern uh, trade office upsto you expect the trade office you have to to specify in what year because otherwise uh, information flux so much information uh, and you spend more time and some of them become jargon or not so much because it's uh, old technology for example uh, before uh, year 2000 is meaning uh, meaningless. So maybe uh, it's twenty years from from uh, two two zero zero till uh, twenty twenty. Yeah, from from the year uh, two thousand to year twenty. Yeah, uh, two thousand and twenty. So that's the time frame, for example. Yeah. Um. Next. Um. Monitoring process. Yeah. It's one time or ongoing monitoring. Yeah. Or sometimes we call it, uh, <clears throat> for example, when you, uh, you are going to do PSM, your PSM, uh, sometime next, or this semester, uh, some of you are doing this uh, PSM, proposal of PSM. Uh, we call it cross sectional or longitudinal study. Uh, cross sectional meaning at one time. Uh, you want to compare, for example, uh, one case in UTM and another case in other university. So uh, for this year, year to, to, to uh, 2021, so we call it cross-sectional. Or maybe you want to study uh, one institution in, in UTM, yeah? compare with another institution, one case study, uh, uh, compared to another case study. And that we call it a cross-sectional or one-time uh, process. Uh, longitudinal is ongoing monitoring. Yeah? From the historical perspective, or we, we have a time timeline. As for example, um, bibliometric study. You want to study <clears throat> uh, articles or journal uh, in uh, a specific topics about, for example, uh, uh, commercialization of technology in Malaysia. Yeah, uh, university uh, innovative product, the commercialization of university innovative product. Uh, patenting or whatever. So uh, from the year, for example, uh, 1995, it's quite long study, to uh, 2020. It's, we call it ongoing monitoring. From uh, it's, uh, uh, It can be time series as well. From that time series, you can expect the future. You can uh, predict uh, what's happened, uh, what's going to happen in the near future. Uh, trend extrapolation <clears throat> uh, or moving average. For example, <clears throat> uh, uh, patenting in uh, five years' time. 
before 2020, maybe uh, 2015 to 2020. So we we can expect or we can put the target of uh, patenting of uh, innovative product of UTM uh, for five years or normally 10 years time. Yeah, from, uh, okay, UTM start uh, become uh, research university uh, 2010. And now, uh, yeah, 10 years time, yeah, till to 2020, UTM already 10 years time of becoming a research university. So you want to study the <clears throat> number of patents granted by patent office all over the world. How many patents? Okay. Uh, from uh, 2010, how many? Uh, 2011, 2012, and now 2020, how much? How many patents? Yeah. Uh, that's quanti quantitative study. We call it longitudinal or ongoing monitoring. Uh, not only in one uh, place or one company, you, you can also, uh, we can also compare with uh, achievement of the company as well. And and uh, as university, for example, UTM, UTM are comparing uh, with their senior. Uh, as a research university, uh, UM, uh, one of the best uh, research university, uh, always uh, have a high, highest score in many category, they have higher score. They are the senior, much more senior, senior, uh, almost five years compared to UTM became uh, the research university. USM, UPM, and uh, UKM as well. Uh, there are five research university altogether. Uh, focus, as I uh, give you the types of uh, monitoring, technological or contextual. Uh, monitoring of uh, patents, number of patents considered as technological monitoring. You monitor the outputs. And then uh, contextual uh, other aspect in the environment. The breath, want to focus on macro level, on the national level, uh, national innovation system, or micro level at the product business or the technology or sub-technology business. This is micro level. Uh, purpose, choosing or forecasting, whether you want to make decision to support uh, uh, by having that information to choose or to forecast, meaning that for the future. And then also another uh, uh, category is the stage of the R&D, research or development whether it's invention or invention, emerging technology or establish. Establish meaning that uh, already in the market, emerging, uh, not yet proven success story in the market. It's already introduced emerging, uh, but not yet successful story. Establish already have the success story, has, has been used for some time in the market. Okay. Uh, that's the choice of monitoring. Uh, you have to really uh, focus or shift here. Uh, you have to focus the info for meaningful signals and envision their application. Uh, not just merely gathering, gathering the data, because uh, as I, I mentioned just now, it's information uh, flux age, so much information online. So you have to select to filter those who really related or important to your business. <clears throat> uh, last uh, slide, monitoring step. Okay, first you have to set objective and then describe uh, the context, uh, define, describe uh, of the technology. You should have mapping. This is what you are going to do in your assignment number two. Contextual, uh, the relation with socio-economic influence, interrelationship, 
by using graphs and matrices. Uh, and then number three, adapt appropriate uh, monitoring strategies. After you have the objective and context, you have to, to use appropriate strategy. Shotgun meaning that's uh, uh, more or less like net. You know, shotgun, when they shoot, it's uh, spread, the, the bullet spread. Level two, uh, more focus, literature search. Uh, okay, of, of course, at the beginning, you, ha you have a shotgun approach, meaning that you have, uh, you can capture as much as uh, you can, all the information related. And then uh, more focus at level two. Level three, comprehensive study of key factors. And uh, you can start formulate uh, the conceptual models. You are uh, doing your PSM proposal. Yeah. Uh, advanced search at level two, and then you have to comprehensive study of the key factors of the variables related to your study. And then you can also verify with expert opinion. Ask expert whether uh, your model valid or not, you can verify. Uh, stage number four, interpret and communicate the results. And how to communicate you in your report of group, uh, report uh, assignment number two, number one as well. Uh, you have to include maps, milestones, the uh, maps of technology or technological mapping. Milestone, the timeline, graphs, matrices, and etc. We I will explain more on this when we talk about assignment number uh, phase two, and some visual as well like model simulation and scenario building. Okay, uh, that's it for today's lecture, and some other issue about implementation. Uh, who should conduct the monitoring? How should monitoring be conducted? You have to read by yourself. Uh, there's. Uh, book chapter on this topic yeah, how to conduct monitoring via publication and now there's uh, so many software even uh, when you are doing for example for your assignment uh, you uh, for your psm you have to choose whether to do quantitative or quant qualitative and so many tools or software for quantitative as well as for qualitative Okay, we talk again about this later and how to integrate in monitoring with other uh, forecasting techniques and all this you will apply in your uh, phase two uh, project. Okay, inshallah, meet you meet again uh, next week. If you have any question, uh, you can ask uh, via WhatsApp group and uh, attendant as well. You have to key in in WhatsApp group. Okay, stop here. Assalamualaikum warahmatullah. Thank you. Sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.